You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host, and I have one of my favorite people here, Thanks, Mary Waldron, uh, who just got off of a wedding yeah. with her daughter. Yes. Congratulations. And my new son in law. And your new son. And yeah. looks like two really nice families Thank blended you. together. It is. Um, very much so. I hope she has great happiness, which looks like she's uh, off to she, a great start. She most certainly is. Everybody has good health. Thank you. Um, you're doing something again yes. to remember veterans during the holiday season. Correct around Brockton. That's right. The 7th of December. That is correct. A date which will live in infamy. Exactly. Right as Franklin Roosevelt said. Most certainly, yes. Um, I remember that for two things, Pearl Harbor Day. Yes. And uh, that was the day my mother's mother, my grandmother passed. Oh. So I had uh, St. Patrick's Day for my grandfather. And Pearl Harbor Day. Pearl Harbor Day, Day and then yeah. dad was 9-11. So I'll never forget the days yeah. that they passed. Jewish right. calendar, you move it around every year. That's it's correct. It's crazy. Right? <laughs> but the wreaths, are it's stunning. I, 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 I've joined you in the past yes, over have. at Melrose Cemetery. Yes. My wife has. Correct. Talk about it. What, what are you looking so, to do? So first of all, we call it Operation Wreaths for Veterans. And the whole operation piece, because it really is centered around um, our veterans. And, and it certainly is an, an operation. We have 1,500, over 1,500 wreaths that are placed on veterans' graves um, at Melrose Cemetery. Um, working with the, um, the cemetery commission and working with the cemetery department. Um, and um, Mr. Carpenter has been awesome and so is Laureen there. But again, it's memorying, is remembering our veterans throughout the whole year. And so this was just a little way that we figured that bringing the community again, it's a community project, not just one person, not just five. It really is a community project coming together and to pay respect to our veterans. And so it just so happens to be on Pearl Harbor Day. So as you know, the Just Checking In Fund is the sponsor of this. Um, it does have a, a, a pretty penny cost, but we keep that in mind when we raise funds. And um, all that we do is we look for volunteers to come and show up to Melrose Cemetery right off of Pearl Street. And, um, and you go to the middle area, which is the, the, the white stone veterans right in the center. Right. And so we just ask people to come. We start off with the Pledge of Allegiance, and we then ask for those um, volunteers to come and then place wreaths on each of the veterans. So it's not a race. It's not, you know, certainly with the weather, it all depends, but it's taking the time to solemnly place a wreath on a veteran's grave. Um, in the past, because we do place it on all veterans' graves, whether you are of Jewish faith or not, um, because the, the symbol of a wreath is a circle. And so we are thinking of them with hope and we are thinking them internally and so while um, it is important, you know, that we remember everybody. So we don't include the flag, but we, we do have a wreath. Um, this is just a sample of many of the wreaths that we purchase. Um, they get delivered the night before, and then we ask for volunteers to come on Friday to um, disperse the, um, the wreaths. And it's rain or snow or shine. It is, it because is limited time to do it. It is limited time. It's around time. the holidays and you know what I, I I love wreaths and I love Christmas trees. I my my, my <laughs> wife said what was the chance of me marrying a guy who's Jewish <laughs> that was going to like it. I get it at Gary's farm. Perfect. And they deliver it to me. Right. They cut it to to fit. And I have a cathedral ceiling in my And so it looks so beautifully it, there. It looks nicely right. with the menorah. I just can't put the menorah too close. That's right. So so with the wreaths um it, it took last year, we had a little extra boost last year. We, um, I did a couple little things on social media and uh, um, a Boston news station came the night before and then told people to come the next day and boy, did they show up. Mm -hmm. um, so in fact, there was a, a family from New Hampshire and their last name is Waldron, no relation to the Waldrons of Brockton. Mm -hmm. But um, again, um, we have a very strong volunteer from the local 144, the um, Brockton Fire Department, local 144, and um, they come and the, the, the um, previous chiefs um, come and attend as well. And legislators. And I legislators Jerry come, Cassidy Jerry Cassidy there. and Claire and um, Mike Brady has come. So again, it's whether, you know, I think if there was a chance, there is a there was another um, national event that's called Wreaths Across America. Right. And um, we've often been asked, like, why don't we do it with them? Well, first of all, you have to use their vendor, and number two, you have to pick the same day. And for me, that's a little difficult. I had, you know, not only this year, but 
it's when I can get my volunteers together. Right. Um, and um, it eventually I, there was been a hope to do it like on a Saturday so school children can do it as well. Um, it's just a matter of just making it all work. Well, you start looking at all the Saturdays in December with the Jingle Bell Run. Correct. And what date do you pick? And it's as, hard. as you get closer to the holidays, it gets a little harder. It does get harder. And for the last, I think this is our third year or fourth year, I forget which year it is, um, but we always do it on, we've been doing it on that Friday. Mm -hmm. So I know for a fact, like the um, Brockton Area Workforce Investment Board, now called Mass Hire, um, they use as part of their holiday, give back, they'll take their um, time and they'll mm -hmm. volunteer their time. So we encourage businesses and neighborhood associations and um, whomever wants to do it. And um, you know, we provide coffee and we provide some, some small warm refreshments, hand warmers, and um, the, uh, the cemetery um, comes and they help us um, with, oops, <laughs> the, the, the cup, we that's, that I was gonna say, <laughs> <laughs> but, um, Right, so we have lots of assistance and we have um, a local um, landscaping company called Fairway Landscaping and they provide their trucks to help offload the wreaths and help get them to different locations within the cemetery. The G Just Checking In has a website, Yes, right? Just us. Checking, www.justcheckingin.org. Okay, and you have a Facebook? Facebook page, Twitter, and Instagram account, so and all of them are all there. all the information will be there. There, All the information's there, all the information's on the website. And um, if you don't know there, you most of you and most of the viewers and lots of friends out there are also friends of mine on Facebook. So we try to make sure that everybody's, in, and it's all inclusive. There is not one group that does not get included. And we all share it. And we all share it is right. And you do take contributions in order to pay for it. So that is, thank you, that is a very good point. Um, we raise funds primarily through our wiffle ball tournament every year. Right. And um, we try to, make sure that we also have enough funds where we can still do scholarships and make contributions to various charities right. here in Brockton. So it does, it's a big chunk. Um, I would say that it's in about a $10,000 range that we pay for the wreaths, um, but it's worth every penny. So if so people if, wanted to do one wreath or a number of wreaths, what would be a donation? You know, um, we've had contributions from $25 to $300,000, I mean $300. Okay. So, and we're, just reminds me, I've got to make sure our website's up to date so you can make contributions online as well. There you go. Well, always, That's something I have to do. <laughs> always doing good, always doing good, Mary, Thank even you, with all the time you spend. You, you do good in the community, you, you, family's important, and you've got a whole bunch of friends. I Mark. have a bunch of friends who are like family, Mark, and I think, as with all of our tournaments, um, just a, a, a save the date for June. Um, June 8th will be our last and final wiffle ball tournament. I know it is It is um, our final just as a family, um, just checking in, maybe partnering with a nonprofit organization in Brockton okay. to keep it going with them. But from the perspective of family, and it's been, um, it'll be our eighth year and it's a lot of work. Um, and our hope is that we're ready to, um, so that's a save the day. Well, we'll be there and we'll also, we brought the next generation. That's correct. As well. That's correct. And the pouring rain. That was, I remember that one and then it cleared up. And it's going to clear up. John so, was smiling so on us, right? He's always smiling down on us. And I feel the fact that the just checking in, both family and friends who knew him and loved him, are always the, and the reason we're coming together. And we know you and love you. So Thank thanks you. for doing everything thanks, you Mark. do, Mary. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.